Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Last time I did bought some couple of Blu-rays and DVDs that I found at Dollar Tree, and of course I also had bought some more at Big Lots and Best Buy and stuff. And that was during my birthday, and even in June. So I waited for a couple months. It was supposed to come out on June 25th. But instead, they had to postpone it. But I did saw the movie back in early March, even though it came out in February, after a long wait, and eventually became my favorite film of the year. So far, so good. <laughs> and that is Alita Battle Angel. But Alita right up there with the Damascus Blade, yeah, along with the rest of the cast here, like Dr. Hunter Ito, played by Christoph Waltz. Um, Jennifer Connelly playing Dr. Sharon. Ed Skarin playing the Zapon, the body hunter. Um, Mashallah Ali playing Vector, who's uh, the Atipreneur. And you got the rest of the entire cast, including Bogushka, played by Jackie O'Haley, and all these other cyborgs around. The only thing that's not shown here is uh, Hugo, played by Keenan Johnson, happens to be the love interest of Alita. And by the way, Alita is played by Rosa Zalazar. Yeah. And she really does look sweet. Badass. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Which is based on the manga by Yokido Kishiro. Or Gum. Now, you're going to be able to wonder why did I pick up the 4K Ultra HD version instead of the regular Blu-ray. Even though it does come with it. Like all the other 4K Ultra HD releases do. Well, here's the thing. I was actually thinking about getting the Best Buy exclusive, that's a steel book that does come with all free discs plus a digital code, which is the 4K Ultra HD, the Blu-ray 3D, which is very rare nowadays because they're not selling much Blu-ray 3Ds in recent titles, like they usually do. Yeah, I mean, because they still play films in 3D. No doubt about it, like digital 3D or real 3D, you know, yeah, real D 3D, and IMAX 3D, yeah. that sort of thing. And um, and it does have the regular Blu-ray included, the digital code from Movies Anywhere, not Ultraviolet, which is now being shut down. Okay. Anyway, I was uh, thinking about getting that, but. That one sold out pretty quickly, especially with the pre-orders, and by the time I went to Best Buy, it was all gone. The only one that had left was this, and, and the regular Blu-ray, with the DVD included and digital code. But I went ahead with this one. I guess I wouldn't mind getting the DVD just for the some more extra content here, but that's alright. It's, it's better that way. Plus, the cover art looks incredibly beautiful, very shiny, as you can see, yeah, all rainbow colors, even on the back, yeah, <laughs> and it even says uh, the sticker label right there, because now you know what's included, exactly as we pictured it, <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice slip cover, so. They actually have uh, the Target exclusive, which is the um, the USB charging the bracelet that they got, which is pretty tempting. But I was expecting they were going to include a bonus disc, though, with, with more extras joining in, but didn't happen. So that's a shame. Same goes with the Walmart uh, Motorball uh, gift set, which contains the, uh, the Fungal Pop vinyl uh, keychain, which has Alita. <laughs> so you get to put this on your keys. So that's really nice. 
But, uh, it's okay, but I, I would have settled to have that with the bonus disc. But sad to say they, they couldn't include that. They do, uh, however, have the limited edition uh, Amazon exclusive, which contains a 64-page book, which is directly from the Alita Battle Angel, the art and making of the film book, which is like over 200 pages long which I would recommend getting that instead of that, but that's okay. I mean, if you want to go for something with style. I mean, they got a lot of stuff going around, a lot of merchandising for the movies, so it's really cool. As opposed to the mangas that you can pick up at stores like Barnes & Noble or any other bookstore out there. Yeah, that's the case. So, <laughs> but either way, it, it's cool. But hopefully someday I'll I'll get a 4K Ultra HD uh, player, so that way I'll get to see what this movie looks like. Because I'm guarantee you this movie's going to look incredibly stunning in that format with HDR or HD Plus 10, Adobe Vision, and, and all that included. So, so it's going to look um, spectacular. And that goes the same with Blu-ray uh, 3D. I mean, I'm definitely certain that for its high-definition source, it's going to look you know, visually stunning anyway, even with the 3D, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's nice to have what we're getting. So anyway, I'm going to show you um, the 4K Ultra HD uh, case right here as I take out the slip cover. You can see it, and <laughs> same here. Uh, you got the code right there, which I already used. Yeah, it's, um, speaking of all the stuff here, you got uh, a booklet that has uh, <laughs> a figurine and a statue of Alita. You got some more stuff here. You have from Weta Digital. Yes, there's even the book that I was talking about. And even at the back, some more figurines and stuff. So, and t shirts too. So, that's a lot of great stuff. Plus, um, here's the Ultra HD Blu ray. And you can see a picture of Alita. Battlewing Grugreshka underground is really cool. Right here you can see uh, the Blu-ray of Alita just putting in the, the blood on her cheeks and this is where she says in line I do not stand by in the present of evil. And right here this is the, the Blu-ray 3D which they show the scene where it's where she's at the motor ball. Yeah is being chased by all these uh, cyborgs, including the hunter warriors. <laughs> so this was really big. Okay, this looks really cool. Okay. Um, now, like I said, I'm not going to review the 4K Ultra HD nor the Blu-ray 3D by itself because again I don't have those players but if I ever do get them I'll definitely be able to watch it to see what I think of it but there are a lot of YouTubers out there who are posting reviews of it so I think uh, they'll be more informative than I would but uh, however I'm just going to talk about uh, the Blu-ray that just looks incredibly beautiful anyway very stunning a lot brighter and the sound quality is excellent. It's definitely crystal clear sound, so it's just exactly like how you saw it in theaters. Um, the aspect ratio is definitely the original aspect ratio, two by thirty-nine by one. So it's not the um, the IMAX uh, open mat aspect ratio that they put out, where you get to see uh, more details on the top and bottom, as well as the the left and right. 
or maybe crop on, on the sides too, but of course you do get to see the left and right on the, the original theatrical aspect ratio too, so. But nevertheless, it uh, looks really impressive. But it does have features included, um, and I'm going to show you the list because I did check it out. Um, it has Alita World, which is uh, where they focus on the fall, which this is where Alita has her arrival straight into the scrapyard where Dr. Hunter Ito have found her, you know, where her brain is intact, like a human, but he puts her back together using a different kind of body. So that way she can come alive and has a heart. I mean, she couldn't remember at first because she had amnesia, but as once she begins to figure it out later on, once she finds out, uh, just as she finds out about Ido's uh, secret, well, we get to learn about what's happening next. Yeah. Then Iron City is where they focus on, you know, Hugo's life as a scrap dealer. You know, always scrapping parts uh, for other cyborgs. You know, just used for the uh, motorball games and all that. And also because they'll be able to earn him a lot of money so he can go all the way up to Zalem. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean to be a cyborg? Which is focusing on the cyborg body hunter Sapon. You know, it goes up. It just talks about his life as a machine, you know, what he does, how he goes after criminals and stuff. Um, rules of the game, which they focus on motorball. Yeah. They're pretty short, but what can you do? <laughs> then there's uh, From Manga to Screen. And this is the most recommended of them all, so that way you get to be able to see the, the history of where it all began. Because we all know that it all started with the original manga by Yokido Kishiro, which is called Gum. Yeah, he actually created this um, a long time ago, long before he did the... OVA series, which is only two episodes, and it covers it up. And, and this is when James Cameron got interested in it so much that he wanted to do a movie adaptation that would actually spawn a series, if that ever happens. Also combining with the original arts, with the film, and, and all the, the process that's happening. But you have interviews with the cast and crew joining in, with Robert Regas directing it, yeah, because he directed the film, which I know originally it was going to be um, Gamil Del Toro, but hey, when you have Robert Regas joining in, it makes the movie even more special. Evolution of Alita, which focuses on the technology the design, the character, and the depth of Alita, which also features interviews with Rosa Zalazar, you know, talking about her character, joining by with the cast and crew, like Christoph Waltz, Jennifer Connelly, Mashala Ali, you know, Keenan Johnson, Ed Skirin, and all the rest. The motorball, which is going for a more in-depth look on that particular motorball scene that they created which yeah I mean that's actually one of the best scenes uh, throughout the movie too you know when when Alita was uh, joined in and and then of course all the hunter warriors and the other cyborgs were about to chase her all the way around and, and she begins to stop every single one of them before he, she was ready to uh, save uh, Hugo. Yeah. Because, uh, well, in, in the end, 
he was being chased by Supon after what he did to uh, his friend. Since he doesn't want to be dealing with this anymore. Trying to move on with his life. There's the London screening. Yes, they had a screening in London where it, where it had uh, the Q&A of, of the cast and crew, you know, sitting down, doing all these interviews, discussing how they made this movie and how it came to life. Very nice. We got a 10-minute uh, cooking school, which is chocolate. <laughs> yes, Alita's favorite food next to orange. <laughs> Yes, and this was definitely one of the best uh, features um, by any other uh, film by Robert Rodriguez, but this one really works because he actually had his own cooking school <laughs> to join in. And why not? Because you can make anything with chocolate. I guess the only thing that's missing, however, is Randy, which was played by Keenan Thompson. <laughs> yeah, like I'm expecting to see that because he does love to cook everything with chocolate. Yeah, that, all that sketch. We also got the 2005 art compilation, yeah, which shows all the key sequences by using the the original art that they worked on with all the storyboards and everything. See how it works. And finally, we got the scene deconstruction, which a very neat feature that allows you to see all these multiple scenes. Especially your favorite scenes in the movie that shows like a different stage of production here and there, you know, using CGI animation done by Weta Digital and trying to use all the technology that they needed to bring this uh, character to life. And this is where we get uh, some more features, but unfortunately, it's available straight to digital which I would recommend having this on the disc too which is uh, Streets of Iron City which is 17 minutes of Robert Rodriguez uh, showing the tour of Iron City with the interviews of the cast and crew and talking about everything that happened in the city and what it looks like and how beautiful and how amazing that it, it really looks you know, considering you know how how really uh, how it has a bit of a metropolis feel to it, the way the city looks like it looks like a dump, but deep down a bit, I mean, this is exactly what the future holds, as futuristic as it can be. <laughs> um, it has musical themes, um, which yes, it had a wonderful score how they worked on it to match uh, those scenes alone. Allies and advisories, you had 25 minutes uh, which is all cut down into all the the characters, you know, talking about their bios, you know, mostly the uh, the villains around or the other characters here and there that sort of thing. How they explain how how they came to be. The 2006 art reel where they show a lot of concept art that they worked on uh, during that year to see how it matched against the final product. Trying to see how it takes place for the evolution. And finally, theatrical trailers. Yes exactly how we saw it um, before the movie came out yeah especially the uh, the the teaser trailer that came out in December of 2017 when I first saw it and then there's another trailer joining by there's no DVD on this release that I picked up but again you gotta get the uh, the regular DVD by itself or or you have to get the, the Blu-ray combo pack in order to have the, the DVD. Um, but it does also come with the digital code, I already mentioned. Yeah. 
So that's really what it is. I mean, it's a very nice set to own, and I'm just really happy. Now I'm just going to talk about my favorite scenes in the movie, or any of the other stuff that I forgot to mention, but that's okay. Um, I just want to make this uh, video special. Was uh, I love the um, the scene where after she registered as a hunter warrior, she wants up going to Kansas Bar and you know she's just trying to join in with the rest of the hunter warriors around and she gave a speech hoping that you know they'll team up together, but it turns out that <laughs> they couldn't. And that's where it led to a, uh, a bar fight scene. You know, after Sup on, you know, just shows her the the, the Muckus blade. And <laughs> yeah, you know, he actually uh, takes the Sup on and just slams him straight into the table. And then and then later, you know, he, she just took down all these other guys, joined him with uh, Hugo, and so it was like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a big uh, ball fight at the bar uh, before uh, Ido came by and telling her about we need to talk. And this is before Grigushka came by and yeah we know the scene where what happened to the dog and yeah everything. Then the underground scene I love too was where she gets to defeat Bogreshka. Um, almost, it was really impressive too. Was when you know she's just doing all these high kicks and then she had to f jump all the way up high, trying to go after him. Well, Bogreshka you know, takes out uh, his tentacles, where he gets to shoot her with it. Even calls uh, her little flea it was like a huge battle going around and then that one scene where she tries to go jump this high going straight into um, Gugreshka but Gugreshka suddenly uh, shoots uh, all of his tentacles all the way in circles and then her entire body falls apart she got cut out only what's left is her um, her upper body and her arm, so she gets to stand still with her her um, her right arm and just and just ready to put uh, half of of her hand straight into its eye, and this is where she says, "Fuck your mercy!" Wow. Totally badass right there, until um, Alita was ready to wear that new suit of hers that she found um, all the way into the ship. There's a lot of amazing scenes around that I love. Um, that's why I couldn't get enough of it. There's a lot of action going around. Um, I did mention the the beginning where in my review, you know. Be, just when uh, she found out about uh, Ido's uh, secret as a hunter warrior. And actually, uh, the hammer that he got was actually called a uh, rocket hammer. It's not, uh, I know I said uh, mallet uh, in my review. Same goes with the uh, Battle Angel review of the OVA uh, two episode uh, series. Um, yeah, it was called Rocket Hammer. I, I realize that now, but hey, I mean, nobody's perfect. And so it just looks uh, stunningly beautiful. The way this was shot, I mean, all used um, with CGI that's, that's as impressive as it could be. Um, all done by Weta Digital once again. I just love it. Love the characters. Um, I know people had complained about the script being completely muddled, and I know they say it's it was weak and all that. And you know they tried this hard to tr to make this uh, story perfect, and 
people say it's confusing and all that. And then, uh, and then, of course, there are critics out there who's trying to be, become more political than ever before. You know, because now they're trying to rule against uh, Captain Marvel. You know, trying to compare with with the two when it comes to strong female leads. I mean. <laughs> Hey, I like Captain Marvel too, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. The fact is, they're both different movies. Okay, the difference was was that Alita Battle Angel is is a cyberpunk uh, manga adaptation, whereas Captain Marvel is a superhero um, or superheroine uh, action movie by Marvel. Of course, I know Captain Marvel was originally a male. And they decided to you know, switch genders and start coming up with their own changes, or, or some, or at this rate, it's because, well, Captain Marvel had once uh, married a wife, and then, and that's when she takes over after he dies or so. But they, they have changed everything. I mean, they change stories and all of that. But I just felt like this movie was wonderful. I really bought the story and I bought everything because I actually did saw the OVA two episode series first before I saw the movie and I already knew about the manga anyway I mean I had read some of them yes I actually did I just wish I could buy them now <laughs> hopefully I will if I can but but they're awfully expensive but who knows, maybe I will have a chance to get them. Maybe as a gift. I didn't mind the, the love scenes between the, Alita and Hugo. I can live with the teenage uh, romance in the movies, so... Nothing wrong with that. I, it was in the manga as well, or what seems to be. I, I can live with some of the stuff that they can add. and. And I, I love how they throw in Jeff Fahey as uh, the owner of Cyber Dogs. I thought that was a really interesting touch because I know Jeff Fahey has been in some of the Robert Regas films that he's been in, but he's a great actor. And you got um, Liza Gonzalez and Jai Courtney, Eric Norton. Is in it too with Michelle Rodriguez you know, playing all these other characters. I mean, we begin to learn about the character Nova, the mastermind behind all this, in the Solemn, because he's the one that's under control by you know, going straight into uh, everyone's minds, including Vector. So. <laughs> They're now using them like he's a puppet. I even love the scene where, where um, Alita just goes straight into the headquarters, you know, where she actually has signed herself as a uh, hunter warrior, but she goes around defeating all these other robots, cyborgs around, before uh, she gets into um, a battle between Vector and. Uh, and once again, Grugreshka coming back, you know, going back, to, always going back to get her again, you know, with the help of Dr. Sharon just repairing him. Yeah. Um, it's also nice to, for Jennifer Connelly to play that particular role. I mean, plays her exactly what I expected. Of course, Christoph Waltz, great. And the assistant that uh, he was working with, um, yeah, it's a, it's a black woman. And her name was uh, Nurse uh, Gerhad, who was played by Adara Victor. Yeah, I forgot about her. Um, but she was working with um, Ido, you know, on, on trying to put all the cyborgs together. So, in case. Uh, Ido needs assistance. So, I love that. Yeah. And the budget is only um, 
so far it made over 404.9 million dollars worldwide it was still the highest grossing film at the time but unfortunately it wasn't exactly as huge as most films were I mean this year alone but nevertheless I mean they could still make a sequel they could try but having to deal with Fox with their merger with Disney going around because now Disney owns Fox so you never know what's going to happen next I mean maybe James Cameron might might look for another studio to take over and see how this will handle or maybe they might continue with Fox but you never know what they're going to do because I mean a lot lately Disney's been going through a lot of situations I mean already with the decisions that they're making I mean already with I mean because after all Disney seems to own everything now I mean they've been buying out a lot of studios or or other properties or stuff well, not a lot of studios, but just some of them. I mean, it's just weird that they bought Fox. Well, anyway, sorry I had to talk a little more. I just, I just love this movie so much. Uh, I just can't help it uh, because it's just another swan song. <laughs> like, yeah, that Dua Lipa has sung, yeah. It has a wonderful soundtrack too, um, done by Tom Huckenborg. Yeah, he did the score, but it did actually have some other songs joining by, um, which I wish it was on the the CD soundtrack. So I think they might have a second part later on. I don't know if they'll ever do that. But, but I, I saw the music video of. Of the movie, and it looks really impressive. I mean, they got Dua Lipa looks like, looking exactly like Alita, especially the scene where in, in the mirror, where you, you get to see Alita woken up through her bedroom, and she check the mirror to see what she looks like, and she begins to touch it, you know, through her fingers, and her hands, and arms. And and she even gets to um, learn how to do all these um, kung fu type moves that she does and I love how she keeps uh, doing that she even practices you know, does all these stretches in the bedroom just when she begins to find out in her thoughts about how did she how did she finally get her memory back or so I'm trying to figure out who she really is because she was a warrior, nicknamed 99. <laughs> I mean, she was a soldier um, working together with all the others during the Battle of um, Solemn. Uh, at this rate, send the Earth um, trying to go after um, Nova. And the rest of the cyborg is going after. So it was actually called uh, the Fall and the Great Wall and the Great War that was going around. So th this was this was a war. This was a war that was happening. Yeah. Anyway, and if we ever do get the sequels, I hope we get to see what happens next. I hope we get to see more characters uh, joining by. And maybe Alita will continue to go on on her quest with all the adventures that's happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. I, I just can't get enough of this movie. Either. So, anyway, that's my review of Alita Battle Angel, the 4K Ultra HD, uh, with. Um, Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D included. Definitely pick up the set or pick up any other set of the movie. You'll have fun. And give this movie a chance. I mean, it it's a fun film. It's better than what critics say. It only has a 61% on Rotten Tomatoes so far. And I think it really deserves more than that. 
And I'm just glad to see that there are audience out there who appreciate it. And you know what? I can live with the flaws this movie has, but it's certainly better than <laughs> than all the bad films that we're getting these days. And okay, but don't expect this movie to be like a Marvel film or or any other superhero films out there, and <laughs> or any other. And hey, don't expect this to be like Citizen King because it's not. I mean, what matters the most was that if this was a fun movie. I love it. I mean, I love it because of the action, the characters, the story, the way it was explained, the way it was told, the location that they got, everything that happens. I just can't get enough of it. I would watch this movie again and again and never get bored. I mean, I already saw this movie three times already. And I can't wait to watch it even more on this set. <laughs> so, anyway. Again, that's my review. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it. I also have some more movies joining in. I finally got the movie uh, Missing Link. Yeah, what's sad to say it didn't do so well at the box office. Yeah, it flopped. But I'm just happy that it finally came out with features included. Yeah, I think I might do a review on that uh, later on, just to explain it. And, of course, I even bought uh, three more, which is uh, Limitless. Yes, this is a great movie. Uh, along with The Sixth Sense, which is now celebrating its 20th anniversary, hard to believe. But it's nice to have it. And Deliverance. I finally got the Blu-ray of the movie, which has all the features included. Because um, as you know, I did review this already, so I'm happy. So, cool. Let's nice have all of them. So, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.